and hello everyone and welcome. This is Andy Moore. I am a, a publisher of the uh, of KM World Magazine. I'll be your host and moderator for today's KM World Magazine webcast series webcast. Um, I'm just I'm laughing because this is going to be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, uh, but I want to say at the top that today's presentation is part of our ongoing series. Uh, please join us for each of these events. We usually have them on Tuesdays, like today, uh, but sometimes we change up. So please uh, check your email and our website for any changes in the schedule of these educational, live, interactive web events. As I said at the hour, I'm really pleased and uh, looking forward to welcoming you all to today's installment, which is entitled, Take Control of Your Search Destiny. Migrating to Apache Solar, Lucene Open Source Search. Uh, believe me, it's more interesting than the title would suggest, but stay with us. You'll, you'll, you'll get it in a few minutes. I want to thank Lucid Imagination for making this KM World web event possible. Uh, just as a little bit of an intro, uh, as uh, today's business landscape changes, <clears throat> excuse me, more and more companies want control over their search to take on the rapid acceleration and scale and diversity of their data and documents. Both of those things are important. But legacy commercial search applications can add hidden costs and constraints and make it very difficult to innovate and adapt. So now there's a new solution. Now thousands of organizations of all shapes and sizes are turning to Apache, Lucene, and Solar. These are open source search platforms and they're gaining competitive advantage by building enterprise search applications that deliver more speed, versatility, and more relevant results. Finding the right information at the right time is, of course, critical to a winning investment strategy, and that's what we're going to learn about today. Um, we're going to be hearing from Danny Shaw. Danny is director of Fool.com uh, at The Motley Fool, uh, the um, – the uh, investment uh, advice uh, uh, website that a lot of you know about. We'll also be hearing from Chad Wolfheimer. Chad is VP of Tech Operations at The Motley Fool. And then we'll be hearing from Eric Hatcher. Eric is co-founder and a member of the technical staff at Lucid Imagination. So we're going to be hearing from a wide range of both users and solutions providers today. Uh, a couple of quick program notes. There will be a Q&A session, as usual, after the presentation. Uh, you can start asking your questions anytime. Your question box is open. Please um, type your question into the box and submit. Uh, we'll be covering your questions during the Q&A session verbally uh, at the end of uh, today's presentation. However, if you don't get your question answered, don't worry. We will get you a question no uh, – sorry, we will get you an answer to your question no matter what. We will get it uh, to you via email. So please don't be shy. Ask your question at any time. Uh, we're also going to be polling, uh, posting a couple of polling questions. Uh, these will be real-time queries that come up on the screen, and um, we'll look at the results together. We'll find out from today's audience what they feel about the polling questions. And I'm going to, in fact, open with the first polling question before we get to our first two speakers. Here it is. What is the top goal of improving relevancy in your search application? Question mark. Is it end user productivity? Are you more interested in site stickiness uh, and reduced bounce, people leaving your site? Are you interested in direct sales revenue? Are you interested in better ad click-through revenue? Or are you just interested in generalized customer loyalty and willingness to recommend your site to other people? Think about that for a minute while I introduce our first two speakers. Uh, as I mentioned, Danny Shaw. Danny Shaw will, is director of uh, Fool.com at The Motley Fool. He ensures development and feature initiatives to Fool.com that are driving the best user experience and ROI for the company. Danny has been a fool for more than six years. I've been at it much longer, but he's only been at it six years. Doing everything from ad sales and coordinating marketing efforts to external, uh, sorry, for external advertisers to being co-host of the never popular, as he puts it, and now defunct podcast, Taking Stock. Uh, I think Danny is uh, being, uh, he, he protests too much. Uh, and then we'll have Chad Wolfheimer. Well, uh, Wolfheimer. Uh, Chad is Vice President of Technology Operations for the Motley Fool itself. Chad 